there's some fish in the area, yeah. but it's still very early. Is um, normally for the first half an hour, not many fish, mm -hmm. and then better and better and better. Yeah. Everything is to go. Right. We have a frost, yeah. and you know this is yeah, can affect the fish. Yeah. So the roach line is producing Yeah, maybe because of the worms. Yeah. Again, it's a small skimmer. But I speak, a friend of mine fishes the match here at the weekend, mm -hmm. and he said that the roach were not feeding. Probably they're Maybe. This is, this is what, maybe the reason we catch the bream is not because the bream, there's more bream, but less roach. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. And the roaches are spawning here, right? Well, I haven't seen them yet, huh? but maybe they prepare to spawn. But in and normally the. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah normally, yeah. And yeah. Starts? Yeah, all, all, all the fish. So self producing here. Yeah, oh, yeah. Perfect for you. you know the amount, the, all the bream in here? Never we put bream. Never, ever? Never. Not one. Not one. Okay. When we buy the lakes, okay. When we when we had the lakes originally, yeah. Yeah. there was some bream, some big bream, yeah. not many small bream, yeah. and now with the amount of food that, that yeah. the people throw in the lake and um, the water quality, yeah. the fish just breed, and all the skimmers that you see, the two that we catch today are natural fish. Yeah. Is is unbelievable. There's not just some fish. There are thousands of fish yeah. and um, you know you have to be very very positive like you say yeah. but not always just to catch on, on to catch fish on venues where there's lots of fish mm -hmm. sometimes where there's a venue where there's not many fish you still have to be positive yeah. to, to attract the fish yeah. um, because in natural venues the fish are wild and yeah. sometimes they are even more aggressive than, than the fish in, in venues like this one. But sometimes they are also shy, you have to Yeah, out. you see, this is a roach here. Yeah. Yes, yes, is, is the one thing that I like about fishing, and the one thing that, that constantly keeps me interested, yeah. is the fact that you never know. Yeah. The like you said, you asked me how to feed for roach and how mm. to feed for bream. Mm. I can tell you how to feed for bream here, I could tell you how to feed for bream in Holland on the canal, uh, but how to feed for roach is, you could write a book mm. on how to feed for roach, is, is unbelievable. Yeah. Because, like I say, the venue that I fish in in, in Wales is mm. 10 metres deep, mm. and you throw the ground bait in like you fish for bleak. Feeding with the flowers, yeah. yeah like you, you're fishing for bleak. Yeah. It's, if, yeah. if someone said to me before I arrive at this venue to write down maybe the bremer having a party but if someone said to me before I arrive at this venue yeah. in, 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 in Wales to write down five different ways to feed this venue this will not be one way never, <laughs> never I've, I've never heard this it's, no. it's, for me it's really really strange like a good, better bream. Yeah, in here they are up to two and a half kilo, the mm. bream. Mm. Nice fishing. Have you ever been to, uh, to Holland and fished a festival from Janssen? Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I fish on the... Um, the Eisen? Yeah. You know this river? Yeah, of course. Yeah, fish here. Yeah. Is uh, not the best condition fish. It has some marks. Like cormorants or? Mm, maybe. Or spawning. Maybe spawning. Huh? But it's unusual. Normally the fish are, are in very good condition. Yeah. But it seems like he was spawning because he's relatively thin and a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Most of the fish are. Uh, you see this fish is dark, mm -hmm. most of the fish are, are light in colour mm -hmm. and, uh, and young, you know? Yeah, uh, an old guy. Very, yeah. yeah. 
maybe one of the original fish, but this side is okay. And still reseed and what? The yeah, again, the whole feeding is to try and keep the fish on the bottom. Yeah. So the initial feed is to create an area on the bottom yeah. for the, to hold, hold the fish, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then to loose feed again on the area but a lot of casters, yeah. this amount, yeah. to keep. 30 casts or something? Yeah, maybe more, maybe more. To keep the fish on the bottom. Yeah. And not to feed too regular. Yeah. By feeding every, instead of feeding every 30 seconds, every, every minute, yeah. feeding every two, three minutes. By doing this, the fish, the casters get to sink to the bottom mm -hmm. and the fish stay stay here the peg starts to, to mature to produce, yeah. yeah and like I say normally it takes half an hour yeah. maybe a little more to get yeah. like this so but I think maybe that the, that the long line will produce quite a lot of fish yeah I'm sure that if know. but we are, you are not deciding to go outside because you, you, you yeah to get maybe not so long Maybe ten minutes, and I will, I will start with the long line. But still, we feed the short. Line. Yes, yeah, mm. yeah. Maybe when I first go on the long line, I put another half a cup on the short line, yeah. and carry on with the loose feed. Yeah. Another roach, I think. Yeah. No. Is it? Yeah, bring. The carp just. Yeah. <laughs> but these fish are natural. We never, yeah. we never put one bring. Maybe more. Yeah. Because the fish you see here are very, very strong. Young fish, maybe only, I think, three, three and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They grow. They grow. Oh. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Maybe four years, but. Yeah. In the natural venue, yeah, must be yeah. six to seven or eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they grow so fast from eight ounces to this size, mm. so fast. Mm. It's unbelievable how quick they are. They grow. Are 